Hey everybody, happy Valentine's week. Valentine's Day was yesterday, I hope you had a good day. Um, but Valentine's week still continues all week and uh, today I'm excited to be doing our Take Time for Love video tutorial. Um, today we're gonna talk about photo boxes and using photo boxes in Memory Mixer. You probably know how to use photo boxes pretty well, but hopefully I'm just gonna show you a few little tips and tricks that maybe you haven't learned before. And I'm gonna show you how to create this photo banner. I made this over the weekend, um, kind of a little Valentine's Day decoration, but you can certainly do it after Valentine's Day. About uh, It's just all the people that we love in our family, so it kind of ties into our take time for love this week. Anyway, so Let's go over to my computer and we will go through photo boxes. Hey everybody, um, here we are on my computer screen and hopefully you can see me somewhere on your computer screen too. So I'm going to just walk you through um, photo boxes and how to create that fun little photo garland that you just saw. So first what you're going to want to do is just open a blank page you're going to come to the edit photo window and you will click add photo box. Um, so I already did that and a, a square, a gray square just automatically appears on your screen. And now you can do a bunch of different things with this square. The simplest and easiest thing to do is just drag and drop a picture into that square. So I have one just here on my desktop. This little picture of my in-laws cat um, is what we're going to use for my example. So you can just drag and drop it. You can grab the corner and make it bigger, or you can make it smaller, whatever size you'd like. You can, of course, move it all around the page. You can zoom in on the photo by clicking right here, zoom in, or you can zoom out. You can zoom in and then you can nudge the photo around to wherever you'd like it. Um, Zoom out again. Now my favorite thing to do with photo boxes is to do photo shapes. So if you just come right down here to the photo shape icon and click it, and um, you can then choose from a, a few options of shapes. I One of my favorites is rounded corners, so I'm just gonna click that and click okay. You can see it just kind of rounded the corners of my photo. I can then come in here to this edit little guy right here, click that and um, I have a bunch of options of how I can change that. So I can, for example, really make those corners very, very, very round or just a little bit. So anyway, on each of the shapes you have a variety. So for example, if if I do a star, let's say I want my, my cat, my little kitty to be a star, I can come into edit and I can change the points of the star, the depth of the star, all of those kind of things. Isn't that a funny little cat? He's cute, huh? Um, anyway, so there's a lot, a lot, a lot of different things you can do, play, play with when you create photo shapes. Another one of my favorite things to use photo shapes for is not for photos. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm just going to click add photo box. Now the tricky thing about a photo box is that you can put anything inside the photo box that is a JPEG, which is the file that a photo is. And it just happens that backgrounds are also JPEGs. So if I come in here to paper or whatever, whatever background you want, and I'm going to just pick, let's, this is designs by Krista. And I'm going to pick this brown floral paper and then I will click add as an additional background. We'll just drop that right in. Now the photo box will read this paper just as it would a photo, as like my cat photo for example. So I can drag that in to that photo box and then I have all of the options that I just showed you using that little cat picture for this paper. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You have so many more options when you learn that great, greatest ever little trick. So you can do paper in all different shapes. Oops. Let's 
let's say we're going to do some hearts. Isn't that the best? I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. A picture frame out of that paper. Wouldn't that be cute? And then you can put your picture right inside. Anyway, you can do so many things. Isn't it the best? I'm so excited to share that with you. Um, real quick, let me just show you how to do that fun little garland. All I did is add, oops, is add some photo boxes on my page. So we'll just add a few. I think I did six on a page. Um, and then all you do is simply fill those photo boxes with pictures of whatever you'd like. I did pictures of friends and family that we love. I think it would be great to do um, like pictures of a child for their first birthday or any birthday or not even a child, just anyone for their birthday. You could do a garland with different patterns of paper, whatever you'd like. So all you do, put those photo boxes on and then simply fill them with your pictures. And then you're just gonna come down here to share album, print it on out. Once you get it printed, you're just gonna cut out those individual squares and then you're gonna somehow adhere them together. You can either get a string or a ribbon and just tape them on or staple them on, clip them on. You can sew them, that's actually what I did with mine. I just run it, ran them through my sewing machine. So you can do whatever you'd like to create a, a nice garland. So anyway, that's just kind of a fun idea for you to try. I hope that you learned a bit about photo boxes and if you have any questions or any other ideas with photo boxes, please email me at memorymixer at gmail.com and I'll be excited to hear from you. Thanks, bye.